got Sydney Weiss, head coach Scott Ruth, Taylor Kelmer, coach when you start with the state. Okay. Um, great win for us today. I thought I, our defense was as good as it's been all year. I just absolutely loved it. We, you know, we didn't shoot the ball as well as we have in some other games. Credit them, you know, for defending us well. And they had a good scheme, I thought. Idaho's a very well-coached team. But I loved our defense. I thought we played in, with, with a great amount of intensity. I thought we challenged shots all day against a team that's actually – I mean, very hard to guard. I thought we just were laser focused all day. We kept them out of transition, which was uh, the number one key factor, in my opinion, on the defensive end. I thought we executed very well. I thought it started with Gabby. Um, Gabby did a great job slowing the basketball, and then we just locked them up, I felt, and made them really work. You know, and they got a lot of shots, but they were all contested shots. And then, you know, second half, I loved the way that we defended. And so um, this was a game, and a team win. Uh, loved you know, the contribution that we got off the bench today, uh, the intensity they played with. Our, def our defense did not drop off uh, one, I mean, at all, uh, no matter who was on the floor. So it was a great day for us. Uh, Sydney, just your initial reaction to reaching 1,000 points, and you wish you, you know, made that goal with something other than a free throw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, any way you can get a thousand is a good day. Um, you know, credit to my teammates getting me open. Um, God is good. Couldn't have done this without Coach Ruick. Um, all the support along the way. Um, you know, it was. I'm just happy we got the win. It's definitely an honor, but now it's it's on to the next one. So, it's a good day. People always talk about offense being contagious. Is defense also contagious? Out there, when one person's playing well, does it help? Does it? Does that? Do you all feed off each other in that regard? I think defense is what sparks us offensively. If we get going defensively, like Coach Rook said, uh, Gabby did an awesome job on ball today, and I think that's what started us off in the first quarter um, with our offense. Um, so yeah, I think that's what where our spark comes from as a team, and uh, getting rebounds, being able to push the ball, making them miss shots. Um, that's a lot of fun for us, and that's what we work hard at. So when we execute defensively, that helps us offensively as well. Taylor, I know you scored 10 points, but you know Scott's talking about defense. I know that's mm -hmm. something you've been working on. Were you more excited about the way you played defense or the way that you scored today? Um, I think defense, defensively is what I was focusing on the most. So, I mean, it was, of course, it was cool to get the 10 points, but I think I'm just focusing on defense and um, still working on that part. Scott, I mean, did you guys know that, that Sid needed, you know, two more points to get up there trying to get her the ball? Is that something you guys really wanted her to get, you know, in this game and at home? I didn't even think about it. I'll be honest. I didn't even think about <laughs> <Thank> it. <you. laughs> well, it just seems like such a, you know, it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen quickly with, with this one. And, and so I, I was not even aware of it. Um, Jonas told me that he reminded me at one point, you know, that she needed three or four or something more points. But I knew that we needed momentum to finish the game. We kind of, we got in a lull, I thought, offensively during the sh a stretch of the, early in the fourth quarter. And I wanted to finish the game, you know, with some positive momentum going forward. And so... Uh, we called some sets down the stretch and, and got some people going. And, and so it just so happened, you know, and I had a sub at the table. I did not even know she was shooting for 1,000. I got to be honest. I didn't even have it. We don't, I don't think that way necessarily. You know, those things happen and they're awesome. But we're about, you know, being successful as a team. You know, so I'm really proud of her and happy for her. I mean, uh, that's pretty quick to get to that number. I'll tell you that, and I know what she's doing to three-point records and, and now rebounding records, apparently, you know, and so she's adding that to her game, and so um, what, do you, what do you have, like seven double-doubles already? No, something like that, I something close? So anyway, um, but what, how perfect, you know, when the crowd started cheering, they all knew, um, and I'm like, what are they cheering about? <laughs> I mean, what just happened? What did I miss, you know? And then, uh, sure enough, she knocks the free throw down. Did you know? You knew, didn't did. you? Yeah, so good job. That's a more pressure free throw than I thought then. Thank you. Yep, she knew, knocked that thing down. So really happy for her. So talk a little bit about the bench play. I mean, Taylor came in with 10 points, but your bench really got a lot of time with a lot of different looks. And, and how well did you guys kind of just you know work together? And how cool was it to see them perform so well today? Yeah, it was awesome to get um, pretty much everyone on the floor today. Everyone was working hard this week in practice. And it was cool because we had a lot of different lineups throughout practice this week. So it wasn't just the starters versus the non-starters. It was everyone was mixed up. So it was good to get a different feel, um, getting used to playing with different people. And then obviously it helped them coming into the game because they were ready to go. And I think we talked about before the game as well as having bench energy. 
And so I know that was strong today. And so then when they did get subbed in, they were ready to go. And we didn't have a lull or anything. And they picked it up and played well. Taylor with 10 points. Uh, Colby got a lot of big rebounds. Marie did well. She was hitting outside shots. And Bree had some huge blocks too. So everybody contributed today, which was a lot of fun. So Sid, you said you did know when you went to the free throw line that you needed two points? I tried not to think about it. <laughs> I tried to just say, you know, it's just another free throw. But of course, it's in the back of my mind. Um, so it was just... You know, gotta knock it down. It's up there on the board, you know. It's <laughs> hard to miss that. Yeah. Um, with with Taylor Scott, uh, she, I mean, that's she came in early in the first quarter, and and that's the most that we've seen her play so far this year. Was that the plan to get her in the game early, or was that just naturally kind of how it went, or how did that go in your mind? Well, you, well, you never know how a game's going to go. You know, you, you never know. We've been, you know, back back to the wall in our last couple games where. We've had a shorter rotation, which I felt was necessary, you know, on the road, especially or neutral site. Um, coming home, there's a comfort there. And the way our first group came out and took care of business early, they set the tone defensively. It allowed us some freedom as coaches, you know, to not only um, play more people, but experiment a little bit, which we did today. And so Taylor's been earning time. Um, it's just part of the process, you know, that everybody goes through. You get to college, everything's new. It's like speaking a different language. And she has really picked up her defensive game. And that's what gets you on the court. You know, I think every coach would say that. I have to know what I can trust on the defensive end all the time. And she's put a lot of, I mean, she's guarded Jamie every day. You know, if you can defend, if you want to learn quickly how to play defense, guard Jamie every day. And the way Jamie uses screens and all these things. So it, and Taylor's really grown in that area and growing quickly. We know what she can do on the offensive end, you know, and even there her decision making has become better and better um, and taking care of the ball and learning our stuff. It's just a, pro uh, a process. And so uh, she's earned every, everything she's gotten. And I thought today uh, she was ready to go. And it didn't surprise me. Um, I mean, obviously I made the decision, but it doesn't surprise me that, that she is where she's at. I mean, she proved in Italy right off the bat she's fearless, you know, um, and she's a weapon. You know, and today we were missing some shots. We need a score. Uh, this kid can shoot the ball, you know, and so it just made sense. And so I'm really proud of her. Uh, she's been just grinding. Yeah, Taylor, I mean, you just talked about your defense, um, but just overall, how did it feel out there to get that many minutes, especially early on in the game? Just how did it feel for you? Yeah, just, I mean, it was comfortable. It, I didn't feel um, too much pressure. We've been working hard in practices and um, outside of practices, so I was ready to go. Tuesday is a fun day for you guys, something you've done. You just talked a little bit about how exciting that is to play in front of five, six, seven thousand screaming elementary school kids. Yeah, I mean, there, there's two sides of it. You, you know, one side is ours, and that is it's so fun to play in front of that kind of energy. Whether they're paying attention to us, you know, or the Justin Bieber song that's being played, who, who knows what they're paying attention to, or, and what, but there's so much energy in Gil. It's not our for our idea. The first time we coached at Weaver State, my first year, we played in front of I think four or five thousand people, and they were mostly students. And it was the most fun atmosphere. We couldn't hear a thing. We said, you know, we won the game, and it was a crazy. It was just a fun day. I said, you know, we need to do this here, and this is something. So over the last five years, it's grown from twenty five hundred about our very first year to now what could be close to eight thousand, and. There's no negative to it, you know, so we're so excited. We know that many of these students may never set foot on a college campus And that's the reality of life, you know, some have great opportunities some don't and so that schools bring them and invest in these kids to bring them to a college campus and to see a collegiate athletic event, you know, is a big deal and they should be uh, honored for that and commended for that that they make the time to come um, but we put on a show, you know, it, it's, there's an educational component to it. Uh, it's not just fun day. It's, there's, there's learning that takes place, you know, and so it's just a, a win-win in, in every way. And so Tuesday is just, you know, our day this year where we get to celebrate, you know, our sport and basketball and, and hopefully their futures, you know, with them. And uh, we can't wait. Uh, Tuesday, you have Bakersfield next Saturday, Tennessee. How do you guys work to stay focused on a team like, you know, for Tuesday's game when you got such a big game looming against Tennessee? Next play. That's it. It doesn't matter. You know, and I think this team being as veteran as they are, maybe two years ago I might have worried about that. 
with this group. Um, they know what's at stake every time we, we take the floor, and they know what their expectations are. In fact, before today's game, we talked about that. You know, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? Let's make sure we're on the same page with all these things. You know, we are here to become as great of a basketball team as we possibly can be, and it doesn't matter who's across from us. You know, and so there's a lot of hype, I know, around that game. It's been marketed like crazy. You know, uh, Idaho wasn't, <laughs> you know, these players aren't listening to that. They came out and brought a great effort today. So that's going to happen again on Tuesday against Bakersfield. That's our next game. Um, and every game's a championship game and every possession. That's, what, that's really what their focus is, you know. Play great now. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks you guys. Go Thank you very much.